Does hair rule still a heat protectant? Yes, we do. It's more of a blow dry um, lotion, um, blow it all out. Um, it has a micro molecular um, component in it that is 3D and it keeps the hair from reverting back to um, its natural state when in the humidity. So it protects your hair against you, the damaging effects of humidity and reverting your blow dry back. Also softens the hair really well. Um, and um, one of the things that it does is that in particular, right? But more importantly, your hair, ha through proper hair care, has its own ability to be its own heat protectant. And a heat protectant really is more about moisture. And so if you're drying your hair out or if you have a naturally dry texture that you're drying out, um, you get heat damage through hair that has been dried out. And so you add, you have to use excessive heat in order to get that dry hair straight. And that's where you get heat damage. Um, and so the ideal is to keep your soft, natural, moisturized, or your coarse, or your naturally dry, moisturized, four or three texture, soft and moisturized, so when you add heat, you don't need excessive heat. Um, and that's your hair's ability to have its own heat protectants. Heat, pro heat protectant, the term, you know, it's a big marketing term, I get it, um, but there's, 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 there is a need for a, um, a blow dry cream or lotion or whatever you do, um, whatever you like um, whenever you're using a heat um, uh, heat on your hair for straight styling or heat styling um, you do want to buffer um, an extra added bit of moisture or some type of uh, cream to to break down and soften up the hair so that you're not depending on excessive heat to damage your hair because once you apply heat to dry hair it doesn't want to go back to its natural state so that helps.